Hey, how you doing everyone? Um, <clears throat> I just picked up a new Pentax K7 camera. Um, I'm going to do a quick unboxing. I want to show you what I bought as a package deal. Um, <clears throat> it's all in this one package here. I cut it open, uh, then I just figured, uh, let me do an unboxing real quick. I want to show you what I bought. I paid $1,068 on Amazon. Uh, that's the whole package deal I found down there. Um, and it looks to be pretty decent as far as um, the things that you do get in this package. <clears throat> Let me show you really quick. As you can see, they nicely wrapped. This box came in a actually a bigger box, as you can see right on the floor. Uh, that was in that box. <clears throat> Uh, nicely wrapped. Alright, so let me start by taking this bubble stuff out. Part of the package, um, the Pentax K7 Magic Lantern Guides. Um, since I'm a beginner with a, a DSLR camera, I figured I'm going to need all the help I can get. I've been watching a lot of video, talking. I got a friend that does this as an amateur too. He's been in it for like four or five years. Um, He's the one that kind of got me back into it. I've been doing stuff back like early, early 90s. I got a couple of Minolta 35mm uh, cameras with some uh, decent lenses and stuff. But that's old stuff. Alright, <clears throat> so the guide was one thing. Um, rechargeable battery. Another battery. Part of the deal. Actually, another battery. So, that's two additionals. And I'm assuming that the camera itself is coming with one. Uh, a Transcend 8 gig SDHC. It's only a Class 4 card. Um, that's no problem, though. Uh, as I get more money, I'll step up my class of cards. Um, <clears throat> but what can you do? It's a package deal. It looks like I have a 20 times telephoto lens with it. Don't know how good it is, but um, it's part of the package. Looks like I have a deluxe wide angle lens. Again, don't know how good a glass this is, but it was part of the package. Um, <clears throat> figured, what the heck. Well, let's see what else I have here. Uh, looks like a memory card reader USB to um, SD card just like a little dongle that you put your SD card in so you can read it on USB <clears throat> uh, let's see here it looks like I have um, a flash a slave flash so that's good I think I got a primary flash an older one but a really good one they paid like 400 bucks for years ago and uh, just gotta get another shoe for it I'm sure it'll work Slave flash. It looks like a charger, an additional charger, a travel charger. <clears throat> looks like it'll do car. It'll plug into 12 volts in your car, which is nice, I guess, too. If you, uh, you're shooting and you run out of battery, you could just throw that in there. Since I got three batteries, so. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Filters. It looks like I have three filters. Let's see here what type of filters they are. Polarizer, a UV, and a fluorescent filter. All right, I'll take it. A pretty good size bag. Um, it unfolds a little bit. Uh, pretty good size camera bag. Eh, it's pretty much like a starter bag, though. It doesn't have all the pockets for a lot of extra stuff, but it's okay. <clears throat> tripod see that there it comes with like it looks like a little uh, sleeve you could throw it in all right it's probably not the highest quality stuff but hey, I can't complain package deal um, <clears throat> this looks like a cleaning kit small little tripod there tabletop tripod Cleaning kit, some solution, swabs, wipes. All right, I'll take that. And last but not least, throw that box on the floor. The K7 
camera itself. Uh, Pentex K7. Uh, if you don't know about the K7, if you're just learning about the K7, <clears throat> um, I was going to go and buy the name, you know, the big name Canon and Nikon, but I went and kind of looked at them and played with them and talked to people and checked out different features of it. This camera here gives you a lot more money, a lot more for your money, I should say. Um, stainless steel internal skeleton with a, a magnesium alloy body uh, 77 point weatherproof all seals everywhere so you can bring it out in the rain the snow whatever shock resistant uh, down to 10 um, degrees Celsius no problem and looks like we get our Pentex strap and it looks like we get our camera in here. Looks like all the cords that you would need. USB. There's an HDMI cable in here too. There's some standard AV audio video stuff. Yep, another battery. <clears throat> so that actually gives me three high cap batteries, a 2800 milliamp batteries. So that's nice. I'm going to have plenty of. Uh, batteries to, to shoot with. Let's see what else I have in here. Looks like the eyepiece cap. Uh, let's take all right it looks like we have a charger in here for the battery. This is a standard wall charger AC powered. Uh, looks like I have the plugs in here somewhere. So I have this now plus I have the car uh, 12 volts. Here's the lens. I popped it out of the bag. It is a obviously a Pentex. It's a DA lens. You see that orange going around? That's a rubber seal. That's what's on 77 points of the actual uh, camera itself. All through the switches and knobs and dials. Um, it's why one of the things that really drew me into this camera here. It's a decent, got really nice weight, really nice uh, looking camera itself. I think I'm going to enjoy shooting with this. Um, so if you want to learn about it, go to Pantex.com and they have some nice um, intros and also there's some nice ones on YouTube you can find. Alright, till next time, uh, I might do a little review on it once I start using it. And tell you what I think. Thanks for watching.